Have you ever wondered how far some people would go for personal gain, even if it means deceiving others and exploiting their kindness? Today, we probe into the disturbing tale of Pamela Reed, a woman from Ohio who concocted a deceitful scheme for personal gain. She fabricated her seven-year-old daughter's cancer diagnosis, raising thousands in donations from generous souls. Reed didn't stop at just lies. She went to the extreme, shaving her daughter's head and even falsifying documents to make her child appear gravely ill, a web of deception masterfully spun but as the saying goes, the truth always comes out. When suspicions arose, the truth behind this cruel deception started to unravel. The school, where Reed's daughter was enrolled, became the first to question the authenticity of the claims. An eye exam on the little girl showed no signs of cancer, directly contradicting Reed's assertions. The discrepancy sparked an investigation, leading to a deep dive into the child's medical history. During questioning, Reed's facade crumbled, and she admitted to the false claims and the elaborate pretense. The 41-year-old woman from Ohio was then charged with theft by deception. This was not just an act of lying but an act of stealing the goodwill of the public and more disturbingly, the innocence of her own child. This shocking incident leaves us questioning how could a mother do this to her own child? Unfortunately, this is not an isolated incident. It draws parallels with another infamous case. The unsettling story of Pamela Reed echoes that of Dee Dee Blanchard and her daughter Gypsy Rose. In a twisted tale that garnered national attention, Dee Dee Blanchard faked her daughter's illnesses for years, manipulating the sympathies of those around her to gain financial and emotional benefits. This phenomenon, known as Munchausen syndrome by proxy, involves a caregiver fabricating or inducing illness in another person to gain attention or sympathy. Like Reed, Blanchard exploited the goodwill of people and organizations who believed they were helping a sick child. The Reed and Blanchard cases are disturbing instances of a pattern that, while rare, is profoundly damaging to the victims involved and the communities deceived. These disturbing stories serve as a stark reminder to always question what we see and hear, no matter how convincing it may seem. So, what does this shocking story tell us? It's a stark reminder of the importance of vigilance in our communities. Deception for personal gain can have severe consequences, as seen in the case of Pamela Reed. When trust is exploited, it shakes our belief in the very fabric of society. In a world where trust is valued, such acts of deception not only exploit the goodwill of others but also undermine our faith in humanity.